I'm going to show you that how you need to set up the SDK, NDK, JDK for the Unreal Engine 4.27.2 and as you can see or maybe you want also something like this that builds successful without any error or issue. The first thing I want to say if you are watching already any other YouTube tutorials and from there you set up the SDK, NDK, JDK just remove them all and uninstall them all okay once you do that if you all if you already didn't set up the android mobile project setup for 4.27 just watch my unreal engine 4.27 project setup tutorial video and the first thing what you need to do you need to set up some software okay the software is basically this three software the sdk uh, the jdk and the jdk atu301 and the tds uh, android studio 4.0 and the nvidia code work 1r7 okay you need this three software make sure you install them and i'll give the link in the description so you can download from there uh, the all three software and once you do that first you need to install the android studio once you install the android studio you need to go to configuration go to sdk manager and here you need to set this thing in the sdk platform set it to android api 32 and then at the sdk tools you need to set uh, just set that show package detail at here set it to 13.3 and 29.2 and 26.1 and in the ndk section set 25.989793 and the 22.1717670 20 once you download this thing you need to download set up the jdk it's basic simply simple install that software once you install it will become and it will be installed automatically and you find the jdk folder or while you find the jdk you find in your program file slash java here you find your jdk just in go inside of that go to the bin folder and copy this whole location once you do that you need to search in environment variable and at the your environment variable you need to add the java home you need to add that because i'm using the ndk pack java jdk so that's why it's automatically at here you need to also add that in your path location to simply add that in your path and you need to also do the same thing in your system uh, variable if there's a no jdk or java home available you need to simply click on new and add here okay and once you do this thing then the last step you need to do the setuping the nvidia code work that is too much important so make sure you do properly the nvidia code work so simply just double click and run that and it will ask you something like this simply click on next next and simply select to yes and next then it will be take some time depends on your pc configuration and your network speed and then you need to download this all of things so you need to just simply choose full and click on next and accept the license and simply download once this thing download why you find why do you find these files you need to, you can find find the files in your c drive slash nvidia pack here you find the android ndk 15c then android sdk and the apk ant and the griddle jdk and, and other necessary stuff now once you have this thing you need to go to unreal and and the unreal you need to go to project settings at the project settings go to sdk android sdk and set here the at the path location c drive nvidia plug slash android sdk window so you can press this three dot and you can basically pick up that file location something like this nvidia then android like this you need to choose at the nd for when you are doing for the ndk ones you need to choose that your the 20.171770 uh, ndk so you need to just go inside of that android sdk windows under folder you find your uh, ndk you just choose that and then choose the jdk also and make sure that set the ndk api level to 26 then go to android at here make sure you choose your com dot package name something like this and your application display name and the minimum sdk and targeted sdk so once you have all of this thing that package game data inside of apk something like that uh, you need to set up and just scroll down and here you can do last of the step that show launching package just disable that and yeah here you are ready to rock and roll now for export now you can simply choose to file package 
and android you can choose to ASTC but i recommend to export game in multi STC, dxdc and etc2 so now you can choose any type of folder where you want to export simply choose that location and it will be start exporting make sure if you are doing first time so it can be take half an hour to 40 minutes depends on your PC configuration and your speed also make sure when you are basically exporting your game do not disable the network connection from your PC otherwise your game will be never export because it will be the unreal engine install some griddle file and the jdk files from the server as you can see once it's done it will be find something like that that packaging complete without building and without any building issue so in this way you'll find basically your apk now you can run this apk in your mobile device so i guess you understand thank you so much for watching guys love you all bye bye see you in next tutorial video